What is the deadliest drug in America? Yeah, it's the one that is legal in all 50 states. Of course, it is alcohol. Uh, a really interesting new study just came out. We've got the link to the study right down below because it is really expansive and we've only got a couple minutes here on the YouTube so you can check that out if you want more info. All right, so let's give you some more info on the study. The authors of the study assess the comparative risk of death that accompanies consuming everything from weed to meth and found that weed is even safer than they previously believed. Researchers drew these conclusions based on the margin of exposure, which measures the likelihood of an average user accidentally ingesting a toxic dose. The lower the ratio, the smaller the margin for error, and the easier it is to consume a harmful dose. Okay, and now we've got a graph for you, and I'll uh, lay out what's going on here. As you can see in the chart, weed's average margin for error, the red bar, is much higher than that of other drugs, meaning the likelihood of consuming a harmful dose is lower. You pretty much can't do it with weed. The margin for error for alcohol, meanwhile, is very low, reflecting a much higher risk of harmful consum consumption. And uh, we've got a little more info for you. Take a look at this graph. Whoa. The Government Centers for Disease Control and Prevention study of drug mortality rates, which tallies confirmed causes of death, puts a fine point on how obviously backwards these drug laws have become. And here's where you can see that very, very clearly. What are people dying of? Tons and tons of people dying from tobacco, tons of people dying from alcohol. Look at that uh, number on the right. Anna, what do you make of that? Zero on the marijuana. I'm glad that more studies are coming out proving that there is no way that you're gonna die from smoking marijuana. You're not gonna overdose from smoking marijuana. But at the same time, I do worry a little bit about some of the way that these stories are covered because I think it is irresponsible to say that marijuana is completely harmless. You're not gonna die. It's not gonna ruin your life, right? But there are people that become dependent and it does have some negative impacts on their lives, on their productivity. And so sure. I wanna see more of those studies as well. But I think that this is something that we all pretty much already knew. Right. And I'm glad that there's more scientific evidence to kind of prove the naysayers wrong. It's ridiculous that there are some people in the country, thousands in fact, that are serving life sentences for simple possession of marijuana. We need to change our laws regarding that just based on evidence like this. Right, so I give, I give Obama a lot of shit, but he has done an actually pretty decent job on uh, marijuana laws. Pretty much the feds actually still can come in and close dispensaries here, even in California, where it's medicinally legal. Um, Marijuana, are, are you, you don't smoke marijuana, right? I've only had pot once and it was on accident and it was a lot, so. <laughs> Did you eat it, was it edible? So, okay, I was at somebody who was a host on this network's party and Damn. there were these brownies and I thought they were regular brownies, so I had four <gasps> and. <laughs> oh my gosh. Shit got weird after that, so. I mean, you must have been like <laughs> tripping balls. I, no, no, that's not funny. That's too much. No, I know. That's not funny. I, yeah. I, I remember taking an edible and I thought, I literally thought I was gonna die, but yeah. I had to keep reminding myself, it's just marijuana, it's just marijuana. It's I just go felt right. kinda weird, I didn't. The, so I, even that, I think, is the point, and even your yeah. part with edibles for yourself, that, you did it, right? And did you want marijuana the next day? No, I'm done. Like, yeah. I so don't need marijuana. So doesn't that prove why it's not that dangerous? I, I, well, Anna's right. It's not completely harmless. Like, I did feel like I shouldn't drive after this. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, I, I didn't, I don't think I was in danger of dying. I don't feel like I'm in danger of being addicted. Right. Of, of, of it changing my life in that way. Yeah. yeah, do you think the, the weed thing's already done? Like, to me, it's mm -hmm. happening as quickly as gay marriage. Once gay marriage really became an issue, yeah. say, like, four or five years ago, I know it took a long time to get to that point, but once it really became part of the national discussion, it's happened pretty quick. I mean, freaking yeah. Alabama has it, right? Texas, there's some legal stuff going on down there. Right. So I feel like weed is just gonna follow that path, Absolutely, right? I mean, there's already a lot of momentum for legalizing marijuana for recreational use. Right now, there are 10 states that are considering it for recreational use. That means that you're not using it because you have cataracts, you're using it because you want to get the munchies and sit on the couch and watch TV, and the government acknowledges that, yeah. and they're cool with it, which is great. Um, but, I mean, think about this. Washington, Colorado, now Alaska. Alaska. DC, Oregon. These are all places in the U.S. where you can purchase and consume marijuana for recreational use, and I think that's a good sign. Yeah, do, do the weed people need lobbyists? Like, to me, it seems like more, I think they're getting some lobbyists yeah. now, um, and we've already seen that in Colorado, the tax revenue is great. So it's, to me, this is something that Republicans should be for, because if they really are for small government, you wouldn't care what someone smokes in their bedroom, right? And you'd be finding another way to get taxes. I think a lot of this is just misinformation, like the, the pervasive thoughts that, oh, it's scary, it's bad, stay away from it, it's awful, you know? But 
it, it, I think this is all based on a very old propaganda campaign. So, you know, maybe we do need some lobbyists for this cause. Yeah, so then actually should we be, are we talking about this in reverse? Should we really be talking about how bad booze is? Like, I'm not saying we should Absolutely. be going for prohibition again, Absolutely. but we don't really talk about that at all. Those deaths are through the roof, drunk driving, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, I think that we have a problem with tobacco deaths and alcohol deaths. Both substances are completely legal in the country. Of course, they're regulated to some degree, but you know, I think that there should be more education campaigns out there that help those who are addicted to both of those substances because that's the big issue. Yeah. That's the real problem here. All right, there you go. I would be for education, not regulation. What do you think? Let us know in the comments right down below.